Welcome to the Existential Empath Podcast. My name is Tanya and I am an intuitive empath. My intention is to share valuable tips, tools, and techniques that I have learned so you can tap into your own inner healer naturally and intuitively. Some of us get trapped in certain areas of the pain cycle. I have been experiencing this throughout my entire life, and I've noticed a pattern of certain areas where I would get stuck and I would not be able to overcome certain things in my life because I was believing in or labeling myself in certain aspects of my life. And it was getting me stuck in these repetitive cycles that until now, I haven't really had the chance to reflect back on them as to why I was really going through those particular lessons in my life. A lot of it had to do with the fact that I was expanding and growing in my vibrational state, in my energetic vibrational state. And I've talked about uh, how to raise your vibration in previous videos. So if you want to go and check those out, that could be helpful to you. Because when we are going through a healing process, what we are doing is we are shifting our vibration. We are shifting our frequency. And when we are sitting in those lower vibrational emotions like guilt, shame, hatred, uh, blame, anger, frustration, then what we are doing is we are trying to transform ourselves, trying to bring ourselves out of that pit, right? So when we are doing that, we are working on raising our vibration. When we raise our vibration, we move ourselves out of those lower density, heavy, heavy emotions and feelings. And we want to find that higher vibrational feeling, those higher vibrational emotions of peace, joy, love, happiness. And in order to do that, we have to go through those stages of healing, through those stages of pain, because pain really is the number one way to teach us how to grow, how to expand. And unfortunately, it's not the most enjoyable thing to go through. But where we get caught up in that pain cycle is that, you know, the first thing we're supposed to do is we experience that pain. We go through that pain, whether it's a, a breakup, some sort of a grief, a loss. Uh, maybe we're struggling with a health issue. Maybe we're going through certain things in our life that are really causing us deep, deep emotional, mental, physical, or even spiritual pain. And so we go through that process of experiencing that pain and then we get to a point where we're sick and tired of it, right? We don't want to deal with it anymore. So we're reaching out. We're trying to find ways to heal our pain, to go through that process of getting out of this pain. 90% of the time, that's where we're getting stuck. We're getting stuck with how are we moving through this pain? How are we healing ourselves? We're going through all of these different avenues. We're maybe going to different doctors, taking several different pain medications, trying to find ways to just take the pain away. And when I was going through some of my really significant back pain, all I wanted to do was to numb myself. That's all I really wanted to do. But I knew deep down in my subconscious that numbing the pain was going to do nothing for me because I wasn't going to be learning that lesson. That pain is going to come back in a cycle. Life hits us in spirals. So if we are just numbing that pain, and we may overcome it for a little bit, but that pain is always going to be there in the background running. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, when you're working on your computer and you're on the internet and they say to clear out your cash or your cookies, those cookies are always running in the background, whether or not you even know it. And unless you go in there and physically clear your cash or your cookies, clearing those emotions, clearing that those lower vibrational energetic emotions, then those cookies and cash are still going to be running there in that background. So if we are not moving through that process of clearing those emotions that are deeply hidden in our subconscious mind and in our physical body and our energetic system, 
then all we are doing is we are continuing through that pain cycle, but we're getting stuck. We're getting stuck on that healing process. And when we aren't working through those lower dense vibrational emotions, and we're just numbing ourselves to get through that process, they're going to come back. So when we work through that process of trying to heal, we really need to look deeper than the physical aspects of ourselves. We need to go into those emotions, into that energy of where did this emotion get trapped? And I'm starting to do a series of several different videos that target specific areas of the body and what types of emotions get trapped in those specific areas of the body to try and help us figure out, well, what emotions are affecting me? Because a lot of us, you know, and this is funny because I'll work with clients and I'll muscle test them and we'll figure out what the emotion is that could be causing one of their issues or ailments. And I'm working on their kidneys and one of the biggest uh, emotions that gets trapped in the kidneys is fear. And they'll say, well, I'm not afraid. I'm not feeling fear. But on a subconscious level, you are. So when you're sitting there watching the news at night and it's all, you know, um, shootings and World War III and... Uh, you know, all of this trauma, 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 your conscious mind is shutting that off, but your subconscious mind is just going in the background. It's going and going and going, and it's recording all of this. It doesn't even realize that, you know, this may not be real, that this is the news that you're watching. And many of us know that what we see on the news isn't always the truth, right? So when your subconscious mind is picking that up, it's starting to move things in your physical body. So you may be experiencing fear on a subconscious level and not even realizing it from a conscious standpoint. And you can go back to, back to your childhood. You may have experienced fear and that had gotten trapped in the, whatever area of your body. And so when you're working through that pain, it's really important to dive deep, to go in there and figure out what is that root cause of my pain. And for me, when I was going through my significant, very, very painful lower back pain, majority of it came back down to not feeling supported in my life. Uh, feeling abandonment and not being able to forgive, forgiving myself, forgiving others, and going through that process of healing those emotions that were so deep entrenched into my subconscious mind and into my physical body, I began to release that, releasing those lower vibrational emotions of unforgiveness, blame, shame, uh, fear, dread, guilt, you know, all of that stuff that we don't want to carry. We want to let that baggage go. We want to drop it off and not look at it anymore and move forward in our lives, right? So the next step to that pain cycle is once we go through that process of experiencing the pain and then we go through the process of healing our pain, then the next process is to reflect back on why did we go through that? You know, what was the lesson that we were supposed to learn as we went through that pain? So for me, when I had such severe back pain, Going back and reflecting on that, that the fact that I didn't feel supported, i having a hard time forgiving, the lesson that I was learning from that is that I'm never alone. But the reality is, is I wasn't speaking up. I wasn't saying, hey, I need help. Hey, I can't do this on my own. Subconsciously, I was telling myself that I was burdening others and I'm a very independent person. So it was really difficult for me to use my voice and to speak up and say, hey, I need some help here. So our thoughts are electric, okay? And our emotions are magnetic. So our thoughts sit in that third eye and that sends out, when we have a thought, that sends out an electric pulse. And when we sit in our heart chakra and we have a feeling, that sends out magnetism to us, okay? But if we aren't voicing that, the voice, the throat chakra is the amplifier then all we're doing is we're shorting that circuit. So it's important for us when we're going through that healing process to speak up, to speak up and say, hey, I'm having a really hard time here. 
I'm hurting. Uh, I need some help. Is there anybody out there who can help me in this process? Is there anybody out there who may have some suggestions or ideas of ways that I can heal that maybe I haven't been thinking of? We get so stuck in this box of the only way to heal is through taking drugs or going to the doctor and, and you know getting this shot or getting this um, physical thing outside of us when really we need to take a step back and look inside of us and listen. Listen to what our body is trying to tell us. Listen to what emotions are bubbling to the surface. And I always say that we are like pressure cookers. We're like instant pots, right? We are just there, bubble, 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 creating all of this pressure. And unless we are amplifying that out, if we are using that throat chakra to say, hey, I'm having a hard time here. We're releasing that energy. We are asking for that support, bringing it into our life. Then all we're doing is we are shutting off that valve, right? And letting that energy just boil inside of us. So part of that healing process is reaching out, finding new ways to heal, stepping outside of your comfort zone of healing, expanding your awareness and consciousness. Maybe there's some areas of healing that you've shut yourself off to. Maybe you are uncomfortable with certain modalities that you just think that they're, you know, oh, those don't work. That's not going to help me. Take away that limited belief and step out of your comfort zone and try some of those modalities. You might be really surprised at how much they do help you because they're looking at things from a more root cause, a deeper level than just the physical. So as we look back and we reflect on the lesson that we learned during that pain cycle, the next step is that we teach others how to overcome the pain. We teach others and we share our story. We use that throat chakra to share our stories and teach other people how we overcame that pain. So as we, number one, experience the pain. Number two, we teach ourselves how to heal from the pain. Number three, we reflect back on the pain and the lesson that was meant to be, to be learned from us experiencing that pain. And then number four, we teach others how to overcome that pain. So that is the pain cycle. So sit back and ask yourself, where are you stuck in this pain cycle? Where are you at? For me, I was always stuck in that healing process. I had labeled myself as being sick being in pain. I have this ailment. I have fibromyalgia. I am this. I am that. I was labeling myself and I was getting stuck. I was compartmentalizing myself in that area of the pain process. I was not expanding my consciousness. I was not expanding my ways of healing, opening myself up to new modalities that I may or may not feel comfortable with. But once I did that, once I began to learn more, dive deeper inside of myself using techniques like meditation, those were things that were a little bit more out of my comfort zone, that I was kind of stepping into an area where I had to face my shadows. I had to step in there and actually physically go in and heal the emotional, the energetic, and the spiritual aspects of my life. I encourage you, dive in deeper. Take a look at where you are in that pain cycle and try to open yourself up, expand your comfort zone, step out of it, move past that area that you're struggling in, in the pain department, whatever it may be, emotional pain, physical pain, spiritual pain. Dive in deeper and try to really open yourself up to new ways of healing. So as always, I'm an EFT and emotion code practitioner. If you're interested in having a session with me, then you can visit my website and maybe EFT tapping or the emotion code are things that you've never used before. That's an area that you feel uncomfortable with. You don't understand it. It's something new, the energetic system. You've never been taught about the energetic system. That was where I was in my pain cycle. That's where I was in my healing process. Had I never learned about EFT tapping or the emotion code, I would still be stuck in that area of the pain cycle. These modalities moved me through that, taught me new ways of healing, taught me that I can heal from 
within myself that our body has its own natural mechanism, its own natural way of healing and adapting. You deserve to navigate your life in alignment with health, happiness, and abundance. To learn more about the services that I provide, including Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis, EFT Tapping, and the Emotion Code, visit my website at www.TheExistentialEmpath.com.